Alright, hello and welcome back to Stardew Valley. <laughs> it's been a bit, but I was real wasn't really in the mood for anything major tonight, so I figure a nice relaxing farming game would be good. Let's see weather part. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Fortune teller. Ah yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are in good humor. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish, radish salad. There's nothing like a fresh, peppery radish. Reminds me of late spring. My mother would slice up our fresh radishes and serve them on grainy bread with a little salt and pepper. Ah, those were the days. Oh, but I digress. Now watch closely. You've learned how to cook the radish salad. Okay, nice. What's this? I found the Shane. I found this recipe magazine and thought it sounded interesting. Feel free to give it a taste if you give me a taste if you like it. Pepper poppers, interesting. Green beans. All right. Something's popped. Crap, uh, I can worry about the pop later, I guess. Alright, at least as long as we get everything watered, we should be in good shape here. Oh, those aren't ready yet. Alright, now, uh, let's put these away. In case we need them later. Unmilled rice. Let's go ahead and sell these. See how much those sell for. All right, let's put this bar away. Yeah, let's use the last of these to start getting another one. One, two, three. I should get a decent haul from this set. I also need to upgrade my watering can. I keep thinking from my last playthrough after I'd gotten everything upgraded. However, it's, uh... First of all, I can clean this out a little. Fill this out. Pop, pop. That's a lot of geodes. I should really, uh... Ooh, green bean. I should probably sell these. There we go. Or at least I think I should, I'm supposed to sell them. Hardwood. Oh yeah, I remember. I need 10 hardwood for that, though, and I don't have enough of those. I have to upgrade my axe to at least stage 3 before that can happen, I believe. Kitty! I haven't put anything in there yet. I think it's summer when I upgrade that. I'm trying to remember what I can do now. I probably do need to make more progress on the uh, mine shaft, though. Think about I think the mine shafts where I need to go next, especially since they said the spirits are in good humors, which means I'll have good luck, which means it'll be easier to climb down. And the earlier I start, the better, because it'll get my mining up as well. That's good for everything. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Oh, dang. Yeah, the fact that this is another a second playthrough is kind of showing by the fact I'm trying to figure out where, how to get to the stuff I want most. Because I do need to grind up fishing and, uh... I need to grind up my fishing level and my mining level. Most, and get, notably, I really need to get deeper in the mines. I guess I can do a little fishing in here. Unfortunately, there's a lot of junk in here, and I don't just mean stuff I can't really sell well, like green algae. Mm -hmm. hmm, strange. Usually, by now, I'd... Uh, oh, hit. Come on. 
There we are, perfect. Which means my experience has gained a boost as well. Ghost fish, nice. Uh, I need to give one, donate another one of these to the museum, no, the uh, community center, so let's get another one. Hopefully one lower rarity, but with my fishing skill raising as quickly as it is, it might be impossible to get two, one that's too low. One to sell, one to uh, use the community center should be good. Um, come on, you. What the? Stonefish. Mother Catch. It's not used to the community center like the ghost fish is, so I could probably afford to keep this one, but... Dang, I wasn't expecting it. I forgot stonefish are also in this... P yeah, this place, the underground lake, has a few fish exclusive to it, which is rather nice. White algae. Usually I just get a bunch of, uh... <clears throat> I just get a lot of garbage. Okay, that's a silver one. That's good. Alright, let's continue going down then. Splat. Oh crap, I have to get rid of the larva before it grows up. Nice, more coal. Copper ores, good. Copper ores are extremely good early on, but they fall off after a bit. Iron, and whenever I get to the place that has iron, that will age a little better. Oh crap. Crap. I'm glad once I get the materials, I can just upgrade my stuff immediately. In Harvest Moon 64 and Friends of Mineral Town, you had to grind up a certain amount of uh, energy with both. Uh, I have to eat some of this to keep my health up as well as energy. Oh, there we are. Might as well splatter as many of these bugs as possible. Bug meats can also be made into bug steaks, which, as mentioned, as I mentioned in the very own description, it's basically a last resort whenever you're low on health and or energy. I believe I usually get the gem up focused upgrades when I get my mining up. Although most of them are usually pretty good. Uh, I guess I can't get that. Oh, inventory full. Rice shoots, eh? Crap. Here we are. More copper ore. There we go. That could have been dangerous, so I'm glad they didn't get a chance to grow up. Larvas. Oh dang. 25. I was never a big fan of the might in the uh, crap. Here we are. In the original Harvest Moon Story Seasons games, but Especially during winter, there it was sometimes the most reliable way to get some profit. Oh, balls. Of course I missed one. Splatter. Oh, 
nothing else, they do explode in a satisfying splat. need the sap here, but I do want this, um, quartz. Oh, these guys are so annoying in the combat in this game is exactly, uh, well, it's not a selling point, I'll say that much. Oh, not leave the mine, whoops. Uh, I guess that's it for now. Go ahead and head back on over then. Oh balls, uh I don't need the basic retaining soil, I guess. Or the mixed seeds, so Here we are. Darn it, just a bit. All right, let's go down here. All right. Okay, yeah, I did manage to get it there. And I messed up the perfect. How disappointing for me. If I can get a perfect, that's pretty ideal because that boosts the experience I gain. Chub fish. Large mouth bass. Not sure I want to toss out any of these yet. No, I can toss out the monster corpse there. I don't really need it right now. Whoop. Fishy, fishy. Here we are. I guess I should head on over. My inventory is way too full at this point. I need to get the 10,000 to get the next upgrade. Hello, Demetrius. It's good to take a break from work every now and then. I hope Demetrius doesn't blow. Oh, that was up with, his science, with those science experiments of his. Hey, your name is Selena, right? Oh, right. He likes, um. Quartz, so let's give it to, uh. Well, thanks. I like this. Yeah, regular quartz are a big thing he likes. That should be good. And of course, I'm going to do my best to try and keep at least one a copy of one of everything because if it's not immediately useful for the uh, community center here, usually someone will ask for it in a quest. Specialty fish. Ghost fish. Ding. Nice, 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 nice. Um, I guess that's all for now, right? I don't remember if the community center alert here was present when I last played. It might have been added in the update, or it might have been there, and I just never paid attention. I mean, people who watch my old Amori playthrough will notice that I didn't even realize it had a run button until the tail end of that, and that was pretty embarrassing. Now, oh, what can you do? Alright, here we go. I'm gonna keep the stonefish, to be sure. All right, I need my since I have the wilderness farm. Enemies will spawn in here, and I have to be careful because I have had a few situations where they spawned directly on me. It was some BS, that's for sure. There we go. Fill those up. Merge all those here. Merge these here. And right, the fish one here. Stonefish into storage, and I can. S I'll keep the largemouth bass, but everything else is definitely getting sold. So let's do precisely that. 
Sell one of those, one of those, one of those. Alright, the bug meat's gonna be useful eventually. So, where's this here? There we go. Actually, I don't really need to save this for eating, so I can just sell that as well. There we are. And there we go. I'll just spend the rest of tonight uh, chopping down some trees or something for extra wood, because I need a lot of those if I want to start building things. I think the monsters in this will eventually in this farm will eventually become stronger as the game goes on. Which is a little dangerous. There we go. Sap and maple seeds. Excellent. Starting to feel exhausted. Yep, so now is a good time to call it. Let's just go ahead and dump everything here. Oh dear, wooden guys. And we can now go to bed. And kitty on the bed. How adorable. Alright, go to sleep for the night. Level up two combat. Life elixir. For when I need something specifically decade healing. Level three, mining. Up new recipe, miner's treat. Well, glad to see things have gone that well. Unmilled rice. Bean bean. Dang. Guess I need rice on mass if I really want to benefit from that. Foraging. Not too amazing. Bug meat. Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, I remember why I don't sell the salmon berries very much. They only sell for about five gold each, and that's not really much. Weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now, the weather for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Fortune teller. Ah, yes, can you hear spirits whispering, and the spirits are in good humor. Living off life. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Get your hands on a fishing pole and sell your catch. Fishing is a great way to make a little extra cash when you have some downtime. The distance your bobber lands from dry land determines what kinds of fish you'll hook, as well as the location, season, time of day, even the weather. Yeah, the, like, I want to get some more eels, but it needs to rain for that, so I'm a, going to be a ways away from that, unfortunately. Ooh, nice. Potatoes came in. As has the kale. Strawberries, wonderful. Let's see here. Kale is, uh, Kale sells extremely well. Now let's go here. Community Center doesn't use them, huh? Let's send a few of those. We'll store a few potatoes, because I know some people like those. All the green beans. Now, tomatoes, I have strawberries. I absolutely want to, because I know a handful of people love those. Ooh, pine tar. This is used for some recipes, but it's, for the moment, I absolutely... Alright, now let's go ahead and sell our haul. Oh, no, I want to keep the parsnip there. Strawberries I can sell. Because if I remember right, the parsnip is one of Pam's favorite items. She also loves alcohol, but if you don't want to be an enabler, you can absolutely... Just give her parsnips instead, and she'll love those as well. Mm -hmm. Got 
that's right, I should check on birthdays. When I first played through, I was religiously checking the calendar, see whose birthday was coming up. But here, I've just been so focused on, um... Too chub. Fish. Yeah, as you can see, I missed a lot of birthdays. Flower dance of the 24th, uh... Oh yeah, I don't want to bother wrecking the trash cans. Hello, Penny. Oh, hi. You like dandelions? Oh, thank you. This looks special. It's locked. Uh, that's a house. Did you know I was an all-star quarterback in high school? It's true. I believe everyone in this uh, game is in their 20s for the regular people you interact with. I mean, I know a lot about the people living here. That's one of the benefits of being bartender. Sometimes I hear too much. <laughs> Ooh, more flowers. Daffodil. Hello, Marnie. I just love animals, Miss Selena. Treat them kindly and we'll become friends, I'm sure. I'm sure as well. However, we're ways off from getting livestock, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. And I guess Haley's not in today. Alright, the traveling shop today. Let me just forge these while I'm here. Wild horseradish. I'm not a fan of horseradish sauce. This is funny because, oh darn it, I guess the traveling market isn't here today. Usually they show up on, I forget what days they show up on. But they, just about anything can show up in their inventory. So if you get lucky, they can actually be a... An absolute godsend to complete the community center within a good frame time of within a good uh, time frame. Oh, did you want something? Hello, Mayor. Do you like dandelions? Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. This season to start thinking about gardening, even for us non-farmers. Valley's known for producing some of the finest spring flowers. There's actually a real, lot of really nice flowers you can indeed plant if you want. Um, all right, she loves parsnips, so let's do that. Hey, now. Let's write something. Thanks a million, kid. You know, I'd eat healthier food if I could afford it. Hey, probably a lot of tasty grub going on your farm, huh? Now, Pam kind of just fell into a drinking uh, spiral as soon as uh, the bus station she worked at went under, so it's a bit depressing. Now, let's see here. Cauliflower, potato... Uh, should probably go for some more cauliflower. Here we are. Actually, is this going to... Of course, 12 days... Yeah, this isn't going to... Fine, I'll just put them in storage for next year, but that's embarrassing. Because, uh, if I remember right... Yeah, the season always ends on the 28th day of each... Lacquer term month, so I just wasted money, because this takes 12 days to grow, and it's the 22nd. Reminds me, can I get these? Six days. Just enough, actually. Go. Okay, nine. Three. Two. Zero. Here we are. I'm not sure those rice shoots will come in. Time. Fortunate. Keep the daffodils since I know a handful of people like that as gifts. And we'll put those away because it's not like I have anything better I can do with them. 
How embarrassing, but at least next year I'll have a jump start. I could also resell them if I want, but that's kind of a waste, you know? Here we go. I need hard... These things give me hardwood, but I need a rank 3 axe to chop them. Hello, Haley. Uh, do you like daffodils? Uh, no, don't eat it. <gasps> For me, thank you. Haley's too involved with her camera to notice you. How annoying. I don't know where Leia is half the time, if we're honest. I know she also loves daffodils. I really do appreciate you only need to gift people twice a week in this game. While Harvest Moon did try to get a new routine of doing it on a daily basis, it kind of... Oh my, what a lovely day. While it tries to get in a routine... It, it was also kind of tedious, if we're honest, so... Keeping it to just the stuff that matters most, I think, is a good idea. Actually, if Linus is here, I can give it to him. Yeah, there he is. Linus likes anything that's foraged or anything not processed or cooked, basically. So he's pretty easy to keep happy. It's a great gift. Thank you. The crisp air of the wilderness is all I care for. I guess I should go in the mines and go as deep as I can for the night. Just so I can, if I can reach floor 30, that's still some objective progress being made. Here we are. Slime corpses. There we are. Ooh, that red goop is gross. Got a stomach hit. At least I'm getting a decent supply of stone, which is going to be really good for, um... Oh, good. Do you make more ores? Coal never goes obsolete because all ore refinement acquires it. Better for worse. some spares. Oh, excellent. That reminds me, let's look at the crafting recipes I got last time. Let's see here. Life elixir. Basically one of it, one of the majority of the mushrooms gives it really that really heals you a bit of everything. Healed snack uh, oh yeah, this is the... I remember now, this is why I was trying to collect those seeds. This is just a really good generic thing to bring, especially since, as you can see, uh... It's way better than just a generic fresh food. I could craft some of these if I want, but nah. Bug meat, bug steak. I need two. As a last resort. Actually, didn't I get a miner's treat recipe? Where is it? Stone fence. Bait. Bait will be useful once I upgrade my bamboo pole, but that's not going to be for a little while. I'm a long way from iron bars. Should probably make more tappers now that I'm about it. Seeds. Chest. Mayonnaise machine. It probably won't be too hard to make one of these, but you require... Yeah, it turns eggs and mayonnaise, and we don't have livestock yet, so we got a bit of time. 
campfire. Provides a moderate amount of light. Recycling machine. Always away from iron bar. Basic fertilizer. Improved soil quality. Increasing mix into the tilled soil. Strange. Where the miners treat. Sturdy ring is... That's the duration of negative status effects in half. That's pretty decent, especially early on. But I should be able to go without it. Keyword being should. Early on, you really need to be careful about what you spend your resources on, just because it's a pain in the rear to mass-produce anything. I should save that cherry bomb for now, huh? Actually, let's just go down so I can get 30. Here we are. Oh, it's dark. Obviously, a bit more than I can handle at my current level. Leave the mine. But I should theoretically be able to get. Let's see if I can get to the bar while anyone's still there, but it uh, only goes pretty late. They might still be there. Oh, Marty. Right, I'm struggling with a technical problem. I always take a walk. She likes refined ores, so raw refined ores like copper bars or... Yeah, copper ore or iron bars, for example. She won't like the raw ones. So. About you, Clint, do you like it? Um, yep, I'm a blacksmith. Father was also a blacksmith. My grandfather's blacksmith as well, but I can't guess who my great grandfather was. A silly clown, obviously. Haha, <laughs> good one. Yeah, everyone already left. Except Shane, who is uh, very easy to make happy. Not sure I want to buy him a beer, though, especially since money is really tight until I get my upgrade. A bit annoying going forward, but I should be able to do it just fine. I also don't think I have to sell some of that. I think I have to sell at least one of everything in the general sense, so I'll just get those. So that's on record. There we go. Oh well, that's an enemy. Go sleep the night. Level 3 farming. Crafting recipe bee house, speed grow, and farmer's lunch. Oh dang, that's a lot from the crops. Yeah, kale sells extremely Oh wow, look at the strawberries. That's some good stuff. I shouldn't waste my money on those seeds, but I guess it's whatever. Gotta spend money to make money. 
for the report. Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for the news entertainment. Now the forecast. It's going to be a clear and sunny day tomorrow. Perfect weather for the flower dance. The event will take place in the forest starting between 9 a.m. and 2. Don't be late. Ah, welcome back to Wellwick's Oracle. You see, kid, knowledge of the future, you come to the right place. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck ought to be on your side. I guess it's a good day to work on my, uh... Dear Selena, tomorrow we're getting together. Perform the flower dance. You can find a partner. You might even want to participate in the dance yourself. There's a little clearing beyond the forest west of the town. Arrive right between 9 and 2 if you're interested. I'm not sure if the flower will come in in time. Alright, that might be the last green bean of the season. Or we might get one more. I guess we'll find out. Panting, watering. Out of water. Here we are. Plop, plop, unmilled rice. Toss these in here. Alright, so either I could spend a lot of time chopping wood, or I can spend a lot of time. a lot of time on my farm fixing things up a bit, or I can spend it fishing. Actually, I might want to spend it fishing just because of how much money I can make on it if I, since I actually know what I'm doing there. Here. Leak for George, and little daffodils for other gifter, gifting others. I don't need to worry about gifting a few. Look, Penny, I should be able to skyrocket her affection for me because one of the summer crops is her favorite items. And she'll love it. If I cleaned this area up, there'd be a lot, definitely be a lot more foraging, but I'm not doing that. So. I haven't been doing that, so. A bit annoying there. I should check out the spring onions before they go away after the spring ends. I believe during the first playthrough I did not actually find any. Disappo disappointing, they're quite nice. Yep, none this none today. I should have been checking here more regularly. Oh well. They don't sell particularly well, but I guess well, all, all spells that can make good gifts, or I can eat them to restore my energy. Just need to make sure to run into the people who uh, like to have gifts. Oh, Marty. My nephew Shane's been staying the last few months. He helps me out with chicken, so I'm not complaining. You like these? Oh, I uh, guess I'll take it. Dang, guess uh, she doesn't like salmon berries. Actually, I think most people don't, probably because they're so common. I want you to at least put some effort into it. Park part-time at Gus Saloon, it pays the bills. Eleven. Here, Emily. Love 
Abigail. Well, tomorrow's the flower dance. Dancing's alright, but make with a stupid white dress. Uh, she likes a lot of stones that I don't have. Hey, if you need any more materials for blueprints, my shop's the place you're looking for. Plus, your business supports the local economy. I've seen a wild horse rash in the forest. Exercise is important for staying healthy. I always make sure to set aside some time for it. As a parent, I don't have much time to devote to myself, so I try and make every minute count. Foraging can be a fun way to earn some cash, or you can use whatever food you find as gifts. That's blatantly a tutorial statement. Ah, oh, yeah, the, the ladies are all gathering. I guess Selena could theoretically work with them, but she's a bit younger than they are. If I remember right, everyone eligible is in their mid 20s or something like that. Just place anything you want to sell in the shipping box next to your house. I'll be interesting. What kinds of things you put in there? Yeah, you, uh, that's why I try to make sure the mayor and I are on good terms. It'll be embarrassing. A great idea can pass through your head when you least expect it, but if your mind is too busy, you might miss it. Do you like daffodils? Not a huge fan of this. Guess not. Well, I really must get back to my work. I need... Uh, 300, I think, for that. 300 pieces of wood. This can be fixed. I don't think I have enough quite yet, but I guess if I take the day to do that, I can. I just want to earn some more... Ooh, perfect. Dang, it vanished as quickly as it came. Ooh, seems it lasted a little bit after the bubbles vanished. Here we are. Perfect. Which means... Sardine. Darn you, sardines. Alright, let's go. I definitely want to get the max range out of here. Come on. Don't I probably could have gotten a perfect on that. Here we are. Sardines sell for basically nothing, so I'm not too excited about that. Sardines, huh? Not exactly ideal. Ooh, oyster. Wait, oyster. Drew crafts, fish tank. Eight fishing, walleye. Riverfish, no. Crab pot bundle. I already have an oyster in there. They do sell well, at the very least. Range, where is George? The other Alex is in there. breakfast. Someone threw out an entire complete breakfast. What the crap? Hi, right, please relax and enjoy yourself. Ooh, 
bubbles. Here we are. Got it. Ah, uh, shame she doesn't react. And I like how in Animal Crossing, when you fish something, the characters nearby will react based on whether you succeeded or not. store it, build a uh, fish pond in the farm, but it's not a pressing concern, I guess. Perfect. Smallmouth bass. That's the last one. Well, we'll just uh, do a little more. Just one last fishing, and then I'll head over to the bar. See if I can't gift people who are there. Oop. Oop. Excellent. Not a bad one to end it on, I'd say. Wait, what? Buy a Joji Cola. Oh, yeah. I think, uh, a chain like this. Classify as trash. Uh, why are you giving me your garbage? Every time I try something new, it goes horribly wrong. You learn to just stay in your shell. Oh, I know how that feels. When you mess up... That reminds me. What is Emily like again? Let's see here. Gifts. Mostly likes precious stones. Oh, she does like quartz and daffodils. Let's give her, gift her a daffodil while we're here. Thank you. I've got. I'm feeling positive energy from this gift. Give me another round, Gus. Hick. Oh yeah, when's Pam's birthday again? Oh, passed already. Here's is coming up though, so I'll have to pay attention to that. Here's General Store, closed on Wednesdays. Let's see if George is in so I can give him the leak. There he is. Here's your favorite leak, George. This is my favorite thing, thank you! Looks like another gloomy day. Beach is a cool place to hang out and soak up some rays. Gotta spend time in the sun or else you get all pale. Don't mind my husband, George. He's very fond of strangers. If you get to know him better, he'll warm up to you. I'm sure you do great friends with him. Do you like dandelions? How nice, thank you, dear. Yeah, I have the leak specifically to befriend him. I thought Shane might like the Joji Cola, but no, I'm thinking of Sam. Sam is the one who likes Joji Cola. Which is funny, because it's classified as garbage but for everyone else. I have no idea what that is, but it says I can interact with it. For all my upgraded tools, you have to give me the correct ore, and you'll have to pay me a fee, of course. I'll definitely be doing that at the end of the month, especially since my watering can needs it the most. However, I also need to get the upgrade First and foremost, because the uh, additional inventory space is just far, far too important to neglect. 
Blub. Come on. There we go. If I make the recycling machine, I can make good use of these trash items, but not so much for the moment. Hope my fishing level goes up for this. Being able to, uh, of course, I bought one and then immediately fish one up. How typical. What's weird is the fact it heals me implies that it's a full can. I have no idea why people would throw full cans in the water. Yeah, it's getting late. This will be the last one, I guess. Let's hope I can get a perfect on it, because that would be wonderful. a wonderful way to end it. Here we go. Perfect. Ooh, a bream. It has no stars, but that's fine. We'll be going to those sewers sooner or later, and this town has the most spacious sewers, I swear. Oh, hey, Shane. Up late, huh? Here, have a gold one. I guess we carry a cup on ourselves just for this situation. Ugh, life. Yeah, you said it, brother. I feel like no matter what you do, you're gonna fail. Like you're stuck in some sort of miserable abyss and you're so deep you can't even see the light of day. And that's, uh, that's about the habit. I just feel like no matter how hard I try, I'm not strong to climb out of that hole. Plus 50 energy. Oh dang, the scene actually does. Not a fast drinker, huh? Woman after my own arm. Just don't make it a habit. You got a future ahead of you still. I seem to be glowing. Well, my liver's begging me to stop. Better call it a night. See you around. I'm not sure it's good that my body's glowing red like that. Tipsy. Minus one speed. Uh, 30 seconds. Oh, I see. It's so alcohol is counted as a status effect. I actually don't know if that's always been there because I don't drink alcohol in this game. It doesn't restore much energy, and I obviously can't exactly enjoy the taste when it's, you know, just a game mechanic that I can drink, so yeah. That's useful for a certain quest, but won't be for a while. Alright, now I should put the bream in here since I don't have any other copies yet. Small bass I can put in here. as well. I got the sardines, so let's just put these in here. I can sell the rest. Not bad. Maybe take on the world. Go to sleep for the night? Yes. Level up fighting. Oh, excellent. Now, when you level up in this game at level 5 and 10, you choose an upgrade. And whichever you choose at level 5 affects the ones you get at level 10. Resources required to craft the crab pots is reduced. is really nice, but you kind of just leave those for a day and they catch something. It's nice to passively get stuff you might use, but from my experience, all I ever get is clams and other shellfish that don't really sell for much, so fisher it is. Not very much, but better than nothing. 24 of spring. You're one. <laughs> Weather report. 
Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful, sunny day tomorrow. Fortune teller. Spirits are mildly perturbed. Luck will not be on our side. Well, luckily it's a festival day, so I don't need to worry about that. Although it was annoying since... No, I think technically as long as you were in the town square. Oh yeah, I had in... Uh... I remember in Harvest Moon 64, I would always be able to do my crops and all that before heading on to the festival. It's just that it wouldn't let me save at the end of the day. And that was what annoyed me. Especially, luckily it's pretty scripted. So even stuff like weddings and stuff, if they're supposed to happen, you can't avoid them. The Queen of Sauce River. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce. Here to teach you a mouthwatering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, coleslaw. Envisioning bland mounds of limp cabbage. You're not alone. But a great coleslaw can be so much more. Make sure you have juicy, fresh cabbage for this one. Toss a little vinegar and mayonnaise and you're all set. Ah, that's crisp. I just genuinely do not like coleslaw myself, but it's not too hard to make, at the very least. I probably shouldn't have picked those. Oh well. There's a bit of an easter egg in this game where it's possible to have uh, certain crops fused together and grow into uh, large ones. That reminds me. Uh, did I already turn these in the community center? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I already did the spring crop, so I don't need to worry about that. Excellent. Here, these potatoes are coming in the final day that they can, or I completely wasted money again. For this for a second playthrough, you'd think I'd be a bit more competent. Oh well. These here. I'm tempted to sell the complete breakfast because that's a huge boost to my. But people actually do like food cooking a lot. Well, granted, that one's from a. Although granted, that one is from a, a garbage can, so theoretically they shouldn't enjoy that, but... Spring takes eight days to grow. Fortunately, they're not going to grow in time, so I'm just going to store these. Crafting... 40 wood and a copper bar. Bar and which wood do I have? Forty it is. Ooh, B. I need B house. Oh, two copper bars. Whoops. All right, I'm gonna place this one here. And I'm just gonna do some wood chopping until the festival, so let's get to it. Getting a decent supply of, metal, of uh, stone at least, but thanks to the mine, that's never an issue. I need to make absolutely sure I get enough wood. Kitty! Flower dance has begun in the forest. out then.
let's go ahead and chop these down. Choppy, choppy. Choppy, 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 choppy. Chop. Awesome. And that's all I can do with the energy I have for now. But this is more than resources to put them away, and then I can head over the flower dance. Fortunately, I didn't get anyone to like me in time, so... A bit disappointing, but that's how it goes sometimes. Sell these, I guess. Let us head over to the flower dance. Luckily, it does not take any energy to use the scythe or a melee weapon. Yep, and this is the bridge I was talking about. That gap can only be crossed on this day each year. Double flowers, daffodil, recipe, rare crow, collect them all. Ceiling leaves, daffodils, dandelion. Actually, might not be a bad idea since daffodils are a very good gift to give around. Can't do it in this festival, of course, but. Oh, stop. You tried the jelly yet? Yes. Wish Pierre would spend his time with the family. Wonder if Emily would dance with me. I like dancing, but this one's a little stilted. The old timers really love it, though. Yes. I'm working up the courage to ask someone to dance with me. Yes. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, hello. It's nice of you to talk to me. Spring's almost over. What a shame. Ah, oh, love is in the air, and I'm still single. Horny looks lovely today. I'm just enjoying the scenery. <laughs> I'm just practicing my dance moves. It needs to be perfect. Let's see here. Who'd I... I actually think Shane might accept if I asked him. Flowers, I can already see them. I've been working on these floral arrangements for a week. Do you like them? This is not fair. Why can't I be Flower Queen? Someday I'm gonna be Flower Queen. I've been Flower Queen for the past five years, and I'm right, not ready to step up the throne just yet. Ah, uh, the air smells so sweet with all these flowers. These springtime dancing can be traced back to ancient fertility rituals. You're going to be dancing, Day Selena? Hey, Selena, glad to see you here. Wore my best shirt for the dance, sort of thing doesn't happen very often. Hey, it looks the same as the normal one, or is that the point? Very sorry, but I've already agreed to dance someone else. I'll be honest, I don't. But you know what? I admit it, I really like flowers. I really hate dancing for a It's so embarrassing. It makes me do it. Frog season's really starting to pick up. I should have brought me a fishing pole. Now this is the live, huh, kid? Sweet wine or a babbling brook and warm air. Did I mention the wine? Also the wine. Excellent sauce, slurp. Hey, you should know about this stuff, Bomb. Oh, this green stuff is spicy. Ow. Uh, yes. Oh, want to be my partner? Okay, I look forward to it. A new friend. I only speak with him when I'm ready. Well, should we start the dance now? Yes, let us start. I didn't mean to get Shane's heart ranking up this high, but it worked out for me, I'd say. Hey, why doesn't Selena get a dress like that? Wait, Emily isn't even dancing. <laughs> Dang, that's a massive rejection, huh? 
Oh well. Well, that was fun. Time to go home. It probably wasn't worth buying the daffodils, but I just really they just really make good gifts and I want to be prepared. Uh, the rare crow is uh, good in the general, pretty good in the general sense. I believe it's about eight tiles. Let's, let's place the rare crow here. I've scared off three crows. Good for you. Well, let's just call it a night then. Ah, level four farming. Reserves, jar, basic retaining soil. Yeah, all these require iron ores that I don't have yet, unfortunately, and that's why I was trying to push so hard to get them. <gasps> Call yeah, the cauliflower came in, and oh boy, is that a nice... Sadly, I did spend most of my money on that rare crow for absolutely no good reason. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. Let me grab a drink here real quick. Ah, there we go. Well, I'm glad that worked out. Ah, so... Loved gifts, beer. Hated gifts, miscellaneous. Disliked gifts. 20 of the spring, single. Alright, let's check out the TV then. Weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. We're gonna be clear and sunny all day. Fortune teller. Oh. Fortune teller. Welcome to Wellurix Oracle, the only show where the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you. They are somewhat annoyed. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now, listen up. Fruit trees, they take an entire season to grow, so plan ahead. If there's an area directly surrounding your new tree isn't clear, it will interfere with the growth. Once your tree is mature, it'll produce delicious fruit for you each day while in a season. Better start saving up. Yeah, fruit trees are really expensive to, to buy and start out with, though, so it'll be a while before I can actually do that. And notice how they already have this. This one already reverted back to its primal state of not being tilled. I swear, the ones I accidentally till remain tilled all frickin' season, and yet the ones I accidentally... T the ones I accidentally till stay all season, but the ones I in the intend to use crop... put crops on... No, always immediately turn back to untilled like a day after the crop goes away. It's actually kind of silly. Oh, whoops, I put down the wrong one. Now ah, what's whatever. Kitty! Oh yeah, they, uh, I can fill the water bottle. I need to remember to do that. I should probably do this just because I'm to make sure I get a unique one each time. I already have that one there, and these are the same type of tree. A bit annoying, it takes forever, but I really can't afford not to be doing that. Okay, I'm just gonna dedicate today to actually yeah, let's see if the traveling shop is here. Because I'm going to be buying a, an absolute ton of these going forward. That's gonna be really, really annoying. But let's see if the traveling shop is here. Nope. Need as much wood as I can possibly get. So we're going to go ahead and uh, chop down a bunch of trees today. What's... What's the duel? Oh, 
crap. Yeah, splat. Splat. Yeah, if you're not paying attention, that is what happens. And that's no good for anyone. Alright, we'll just chop down this tree then. not strong enough for this. I will say the festival went better than expected. Usually it's pretty hard to get, unless you're sp specifically looking up to how to... And I remember when I first played this, I didn't get very much, and I was told it's not too big a deal since most of the first playthrough won't be getting someone to dance with them on the first flower festival. It's unfortunate, but it does make sense, because when you start the game, you're not likely to know everything that people like, and by extension, what you need to get to make them like you enough in time. If I'm going to chop this down, I need to do it this way. I guess I need to devour the salmon berries. on the water directly. I guess it wasn't. You know, that of the game registers the location weirdly. Side. I'm getting a ton of these, and I definitely need to stock up on uh, coals simply because all the ores require it. I should also get my uh, mining up a bit, which is always good. There's a few upgrades to mines, but I remember favoring, for whatever reason, I favor the ones that grant me better shot at gems. stuff away real quick. Not sure what pine tar is used for, but I think there's a handful of things. Do -do -do. 
I'll also bring a few gifts since uh, most people go to Gus's bar in the afternoon. That's a pretty good opportunity to do stuff. Dude, dude. Oh my. Found a lost book. The library has been expanded. Selena's a fan of books when I in the story I made her for, so she'd definitely appreciate increasing the library stock. Uh, I want to make caramel orders of the saloon last night. Go away. I'm parched. Thank you. I'm feeling positive energy from this gift. Hope you're farming in a sustainable way. The valley's system is fragile. How do I know? I've got a strong gut feeling. Well, it's good to have a passion. Yeah, if I remember right, Sam is the only one who likes the, uh... Oh, nice. Very lucky to have a library in such a small town. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of life. That's why I like reading so much. Any, uh, she likes that. Likes gifts, normal gifts. Daffodil. Uh, George should be in his house at this point, so let's do that. Leak. This is my favorite thing, thank you! I can't wait to talk right now, miss. My favorite program is on. Well, at least George will stop bothering Dennis the Menace now. Monsters known as are throwing the animal to battle in disarray. Here's birthdays tomorrow, and uh, let me just check what a uh, well, right. Let me check what he likes. Alright, what are Pierre's favorite gifts? Fried calamari. I don't have the items to make that yet. But he will accept daffodils and dandelions. Okay, that's good to know. I'll save the silver one for him then, since that's... You give someone a higher ranking, the friendship bonus from it is boosted by that percentage, and of course, the birthday bonus is rather massive. So if I can give him a, if you can give someone a high star ranking. I feel like doing anything today. Yeah, so if you can give a high star ranking item they love on their birthday, you can absolutely skyrocket their uh, friendship meter, as you saw when I accidentally managed to get an incredible incredibly positive reaction out of Shane. Alright, the saloon. Let's see if everyone's here again. I guess it's not until Friday everyone shows up. Sam is also, if I remember right, Sam's pretty easy to get his friendship up as well, since he's the only one who actually likes Joja Cola, for whatever reason. Business has been slow lately. You should upgrade your jewels. I could use the cash. Yeah, I'm definitely upgrading my uh, watering can at the end, because it's not easy to... Uh, get watering can. It's pretty hard to get watering can upgrades without really putting yourself behind, or at least that's how it feels. I guess I could do a bit of fishing. Oh, 
Oh, Leia. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. Glad I caught her on her way home. Funny that house homes have hours of operation, but I guess that's just how uh, it is here. I can, for the record, I can also chop down the trees in this area if I really want. They'll grow back on their own after a bit. Just trying to cl stick to cleaning up my farm. That way it's easier for me to travel about. It has a nice mixture of uh, stuff, though, that's for sure. I did a lot of chopping and foraging today, so I might actually get a level up in that. Here. This will have to be the last one because I'm completely out of energy. Perfect. Bream. I can definitely sell the bream. away for the moment and sell the other onions. There we go. Ooh, monsters are coming up from the ground. I gotta get out of here. Go to sleep for the night. Yep, level 4 foraging. More axe proficiency and wild berry harvesting. Charcoal kiln. Wild seeds for summer. Not the most profitable day, but I earned something. Oops, decorative lantern. Welcome to Kozu 5. It'll be a clear and sunny all day tomorrow, fortune teller. I see you. Valley, welcome. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Dear Selena, how's the country life doing for you? It's been lonely without you, but I'm proud of what you're doing. Love, Dad. Found an envelope with some money Grandpa left for you, too, by the way, P.S. Oh, dang, that's really appreciated. Ah, maple syrup. Yeah, maple syrup is one of the main reasons I wanted the tappers. Not only is maple syrup delicious, but it's also used in quite a few different recipes, so I absolutely need to do that. My own cooking could use some work, but then again, at least it can't be as bad as what uh, I've had with others in time. Although, to be fair, some stuff is just plain hard to cook properly. Like, I don't like well-done meat. It's uh, medium well is as high as I go, but... but I do think uh, ink well-done is very difficult to make without uh, making a bike tire, and if it's a, you know, basically rubber, what's the point? Kitty! Oh, right. That in there. Maple syrup? That in storage for sure. Wait, quality crops. I forgot. Oh, I see. So I need parsnips, melons, pumpkins, and corn. That's going to be a bit difficult. I might only be able to do that next year. Because that's when your, uh... 
farming skill is high enough, you can. It's rare you'll get anything below gold rank. Now that said, while I do like medium steak, I don't like rare. If it's too rare, I just. Uh, it just doesn't taste good, I guess, for me. Halfway to that, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be spending basically all of it on. Oh, hello, Shane. What's the point of life? All you do is work. Smallmouth bass. Oh. Uh, I actually do have a smallmouth bass. So I'll just grab that and meet up with Shane because he actually does go to the bar every night. When he says three times the market price, that's not an exaggeration. If I gave him a gold smallmouth bass, for example, well, he would pay three times what the, gold, the value of a gold smallmouth bass. But I only have this one, it seems, so I'll have to, he'll have to make do with that. Hopefully the monsters don't get too frustrating. I know, I imagine they get stronger the further I get down the mines, because by extension I'll have better gear and experience, but... A birthday gift? That's very kind of you, I love it. Hi, is your farm doing well? Maybe a few of my seeds will spruce things up. Uh, once it's summer, to be sure. Yeah, I need 10,000 because 36 slots is just really, really good. <laughs> Alter of Yoba. I don't know who that is, but I think I mentioned last time that while they everyone does go to the chapel on Sunday, they pretty much all say, oh, they're not religious, but they, they want to go through that. I imagine it's more for the sense of community than the actual feeling of religious obligation. Like, I do know there- weird as it sounds, I do know there are some atheistic churches that are just there so that the commu there's a community thing going on. Actually, I may actually just want to do some fishing today. I'm just gonna do some fishing, I think. That should be should pay off rather well. Yeah, like uh, Linus would absolutely not like the complete breakfast. Please don't destroy my tent. It's happened before. What a bunch of dicks! Uh, do you like dandelions? Oh, this is a great gift. Thank you. He usually likes uh, forged stuff, but he wouldn't like anything. He wouldn't like the complete breakfast since that's cooked and prepared. He wants all natural food. <clears throat> well, that does remind me, and uh, there was a. I imagine the church thing is mostly here to make it feel like the Harvest Moon Story of Seasons thing. I know for Friends of Mineral Town, there was a church where you regularly handled stuff there. Or conf confessions and stuff to uh, fix things from uh, any bad luck you may have had. Harvest Moon 64 had as well, although I believe Friends of Mineral Town is the more memorable one because the priest was actually pretty harsh if you wanted to do a confession. I think I mentioned, but I'm a bit more familiar with Harvest Moon 64 than Friends of Mineral Town. So, let's see here. Oh yeah, one thing that was in Harvest Moon 64 that is not in this game that I really want to discuss is the concept of typhoons. Now, most of the Story of Seasons games have one where you have to deal just deal with a day where you can't work on your crops, I think. I'm not entirely sure. 
yeah, basically you just choose to go to bed early and skip the day. And your crops and stuff are damaged. Now if you buy a green get a greenhouse built in 64, or a, you can make some crops in there and grow stuff year round, even in winter, which is pretty big because normally winter you can't grow anything for fairly obvious reasons. However, a typhoon has the ability to has a chance of being able to destroy it, which forces you to have to buy it again. However, while it if it's destroyed while there are animals in it, like a chicken or a something, the animal will die. That is not true if it is your dog, because in Harvest Moon 64, your dog is immortal. It is not literally incapable of dying, because it's just not in the code. However, they weren't sure, apparently they weren't sure how to handle the typhoon destroying your your uh, greenhouse while the dog is in it. So they simply made it so that if the dog is in there, it can never be destroyed. And suffice to say, the fan base kind of abused that. Which is kind of funny, because there's a trophy from the horse race event that happened each year that... If you, basically, if you win, you get a trophy, and no one could figure out what it did. And the reason they couldn't figure out for the longest time is because that's actually supposed to be the item that prevents a typhoon from ever being able to destroy your greenhouse. But because people were using the dog exploit to prevent it from being destroyed, it, it didn't really have much of a use, because people just made sure that any time a typhoon was coming, they'd put the dog in the dog house, in the greenhouse, and the greenhouse could never be destroyed. It's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Luckily, that's not going to be an issue here, since, uh, as far as I understand, there are no natural disasters that can nay, hit in this game. I guess uh, Stardew Valley is just located in, in a place where there's not too much concern for natural disasters. Uh, bullheads aren't needed for the... Yeah, I'm definitely selling the golden bullheads, because that's going to be really useful to me. Yeah, because I got the tw plus 25% money for each fish, this means gold ones are special, and any purple ones, if I can get those, are really going to pay off. Oh, hello, Sam. Did I ever tell you we used to live in the city? There's a lot more stuff going on, but it's also kind of hectic. It's hard to say which is better. Yeah, I should get some quartz, because I know uh, Sebastian likes those. But I do know Sam likes Joja Cola. Thanks, I really like this. Yeah, he's the only one in town who actually likes those things. So, best to milk it for all it's worth, right? I should grab some quartz, since if Sam's there, that means Sebastian's also going to be there. And you really want to get Sebastian to his rank 2 heart as soon as you can, because he spends most of his day in his room. I bl when I first played through, I joked that he was playing World of Warcraft or something, but, uh... I don't imagine it's that game these days. So, but, yeah, I think officially he's actually doing coding. Which I can definitely relate. <laughs> quartz. Yeah, he likes quartz, so let's get him some quartz. But yeah, since he spends most of the day, his days in his own room, and you can't enter a room unless you have at least two hearts with that particular person, and uh, it can be really hard to get his friendship up right away. Yeah. So it sometimes takes a while, especially if you want to romance him in any fashion. Oh, hey. this will be your second gift of the week. Uh, no, don't eat it. It's a really nice gift, thank you. Simpler to be friends with the trees, they don't have much to say. Oh, I guess, give me another pint to be our strongest. I've already given Emily two gifts, that's enough. Thank you, this might have come in handy. Yeah, here we are. Oh, thanks, I like this. Should I let Sam win for once? Nah. Uh, I'm just not very good. 
Oh, there's Shane. Oh, so you saw the bulletin I posted? Thank you so much. Here's a little something for your trouble. There we are, 150. Pretty nice upgrade from the usual, I'd say. I think the mayor likes the complete breakfast. Oh, thanks, this is great. Good evening, it's nice to see you socializing with the townsfolk. Just good to stop by once in a while and see what the latest is. Yar, he loves fish, of course. A gift? Thanks. Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. Yeah. I believe, yeah, Wet Willy is the one who loves the raw fish the most. So it's hard to go wrong with those whenever you want to make him happy. Strictly speaking, you don't need to... Strictly speaking, you don't need to befriend everyone in town if you don't want. Only the single ones matter if you want to get the achievement for you know, people. But some, a number of them have a number of perks, and they all have relationship events. So you can get their personal story, so it's usually worth your time, I think. I'll eventually be maxing everyone's hearts, rest assured. I'm just uh, taking it slow right now since I really need to get all my skills up. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping it'll rain again in spring, but it hasn't been that often. Ooh, a bream, nice. Mm -hmm. Because eels are, uh, they sell pretty well, but they're also asked for in a handful of quests, so. Yeah, I, as much as I'd like to get those chests, I feel hard, like it's hard to justify them sometimes. Especially since the, the perfect bonus grants you a not insignificant boost to your experience. It says in like 2.4 times the usual. Yeah, that's really nice to have. I guess I could have given the gold bat, darn it, golden and the bullhead to Willy just to get a really big boost to his friendship, but that's well, whatever I think. Sides. But now that I've gotten the first fish major fishing upgrade, I should get a huge, huge boon to my uh, income from fish. So close to a perfect there. Here. Yeah, if I remember right, when you max the meter, that's the best chance of rarer fish. And of course, the perfect increases a better chance of uh, the fit shoe being a good rarity. Although that's also based on fishing skill. This will probably be the last one, I guess. Yeah, it's nice to be able to do a lot of fishing and not run my energy down immediately. Still a decent amount, but I'll definitely be maxing it out, possibly even before the end of the year. In-game year, I mean. Not sure who I want to romance in this game. I guess I haven't been feeling them as much as in previous Harvest Moons. Like, in Harvest Moon 64, I went with Maria, who is the librarian. Turns out she was a, an especially good choice because she does a lot of a good assistant chores of the farm, too. But that was incidental. I remember a lot of people really liked Karen in that game, and... Meme aside, I used to think it was because maybe they thought she was the most attractive, but... Uh, looking back, I think it's more because her father was, uh, 
somewhat abusive, and that and so marrying her fixes the problem since you sweep her off her feet, so to speak. Although I'm sure she'd hate it if you put it that way, since she's kind of uh, rough around the edges. But for some, that's definitely a bigger appeal. I remember Potpourri was also an extremely popular one, the girl who runs a flower shop, but that's also because she loves all flowers. And as such, she's extremely easy to, uh... As such, she's extremely easy to uh, make happy. It's fine. I'm sure, I'll just sell the largemouth bass. I should at least finish off the season if I can. Shouldn't be too hard. Owls? What's with the hoo hoo owls? Dang. Yeah, the strawberries once again prove my most product profitable venture. And dang, look at that increase in money just from my uh, fishing mastery. I can. For the next upgrade, I'm probably just going to take the next one that increases uh, fishing sell prices further. Weather channel? Forecast tomorrow, it's gonna be clear and sunny all day. Spirits are in good humor. I think you'll find yourself with a little extra luck. I think that's probably gonna be the last... No, tomorrow's when the last anything is going to be, so... Yeah, either tomorrow I'll get my big potato harvest, or I've wasted my time, and everyone else's. Well, then again, if you're watching the stream, you're already on a, for a, a farming simulator game. You expect a lot of mundane tasks to eat up a lot of time. Wait, what? Um... Kitty! Meow. So I can sell some of the pine tar just so it's in my record. I guess I should put these in storage. birthday, I think. Uh, what is Emily like again? If I have anything she especially likes. Uh, she mostly likes gemstones, which I do not have access to, but she does like daffodils, so I'll go ahead and do that. She also likes quartz. But I don't need to worry about that too much, I don't think. Oh, I should grab this in case it's higher quality. And it is! Yeah, like I said, a matching gift on the birthday is a huge boost to your friendship, so it'll definitely bring me a lot further. Me. What was that new recipe I unlocked? I could swear I unlocked the miner's treat, but I don't seem to have it. But I did have the charcoal kiln. Ten pieces of wood and one piece of coal. 
I guess that's okay, but I don't really need more coal. Well, I do need coal, but more importantly, I need wood because I need to repair that bridge. I already gave Sebastian two gifts this week, I think, right? Yep, two. And I need to get to a second heart because, well, like I said, he spends so often in his room it's impossible to interact with him unless you can get his friendship high enough. Happy to be by myself, you know? I don't need new friends. Well, Baka. Dark World, where only a Phantom King Ganon lives. are made out of stone. Okay, good. The dark world is done. I don't have to worry about Ganondorf anymore. Oh, nice topaz. Gemstones don't sell that well, unfortunately, but most people like them as gifts, so it's worth having them, to be sure. Not a bad gain at haul. Not a bad haul, I guess. desperate for a uh more coal I can make the kiln. I just don't think it's that big of a deal if we're completely honest. But uh, who knows? I mean, like I said, I can if I run out of uh, wood on the farm, I can go into the mountain area. I have no choice but to leave the mine. Running out of energy. But at least I got some more mining done. Got some more bug meat because I need 99 if I remember right. For the community center. It's uh, 
boiler room, right? Blacksmith spundle. I'll get these pretty naturally by going through there. Geologist spundle. Adventure bundle. Oh no, actually, I don't need the bug meat anywhere. Interesting. Features do you like these? Oh, that was very thoughtful of you. Thank you. Let's see, if compounds are sufficient levels. Oh, sorry, I was pondering some data and didn't notice you there. Did you need anything? her birthday today. She can, even though she's already had two gifts, she can continue to get another one. Remember my birthday? Oh, thank you. This is great. I like making my own clothes, but it's not easy to get the cloth. Yeah, that's a hint that she loves cloth items. Had such a long trip to the city. Yeah, that's a not-so-subtle hint that you can gift her cloth and she'll love it. I know you like these. <gasps> Thank you. Feeling the urge to go shopping. Oh, I wish there was a mall here. And I thought, huh, sitting over already? Guess it's time to forage for more items. This is the last day or two I can get these spring onions, so I might as well give it a go. Hope for the best. Ah, nice. Oh dang, that's a big harvest. It feels so frustrating. I'm so close to the 10,000 bag upgrade, but I need to get those crops going. Absolutely cannot afford to wait once summer hits. What hats have I unlocked so far? These are based on the achievements I've gotten. Good old cap, watermelon band. It's also kind of expensive, and I shouldn't be spending my gold when I have something far more essential I need to be saving for. I also want to befriend the wizard, but he's not too bad to befriend once he, after a bit. He really loves the void essence, void and solar essences. He's the only one who really does. But those aren't until later areas of the mines, so I it's gonna be a while. Do I need to wait until I get a um something in the mail to learn that the traveling shop exists. I'm going through my farm, but there's going to be enemies here. I should definitely take out any slimes I see, because I do need a lot of slime corpses. Uh, let's forage up here real quick as well, because there's a lot of forageables can spawn in this area as well. I haven't been here in ages. It's radish. Inventory full, oh my. I know what I'm tossing out. Well, uh, I guess I can just put this stuff in the storage. In fact, I'm kind of a, a 
a bit confused as to why I didn't earlier. As nice as it'd be to sell that topaz, well, first of all, it's not going to sell very much because it's a common gem. Definitely better off just giving it to someone as a gift. Definitely keeping the leaks, though. Because George is going to, loves those, and I want to get his uh, stuff unlocked. He does have a nice little arc to him. There's a reason he's grumpy old Mr. Wilson, after all. Let's go ahead and sell all those. Alright, there we go. That should be good for the day. Forageable sellings, I guess. Pine tar really sells well, but for how long it takes, it's probably better off kept as uh, material, raw materials for crafting. <laughs> weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast. Clear and sunny all day. Fortune teller. Oh, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something. The spirits feel neutral. Today is in your hands. Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, omelette. This is just a simple dish, but often done incorrectly. A perfect omelette is a thing of beauty. It's a pure golden angel of a gleaming egg. And I'm going to show you my secret method. The nice thing about omelettes is you can basically craft them however you feel like. Basically customize them to your desire. Oh, the potatoes did come in last day. Selena, flip this letter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal. You'll feel energized. See you soon. Yep, I didn't get any more harvests from the strawberries, darn it. I absolutely need to sell all these because I need to get as much money as I can. We're officially done with spring, so I can actually do this. I'm definitely going to break 10,000 after this, but I need to turn in my watering can. It does mean I have to delay my uh, summer crops a day, but that's perfectly acceptable, I think. Basically, anything that's not out of season will immediately die, which is going to suck. And winter, surviving your first winter in a in one of these farming sim games is usually a pretty big deal. Dandelion for dessert I'm making. Oh, I already took those. Oh, well.
so you have to wait till nine. Uh, not a problem. Let's just do some fishing while we wait then. Watering can. Thanks, I'll get started on as soon as I can. Should be ready in a couple days. That's definitely the big one I need to get upgraded. I believe the eel is only in spring and only when it rains, so sadly, after today, I won't be able to get until next year. But at least I have the one for the uh, community center. At least summer should uh, be right around the corner. This is going to be really good. Mm. That seems like we got all the spring onions for the year. I guess I can just begin chopping down trees and hoping for the best. focus on wood while I can definitely will want to be uh I definitely won't want to be getting the rocks and stuff eventually absolutely want as many of these woods as I can get isn't strong to break this log. That log is going to be particularly frustrating, I can tell you. Ah, here we are. The traveling car. Plant these in the summer. It takes 13 days to mature. Magic beans, basically, so... So in fall, it takes all season to grow. Octopus. Fish tank. Octopus in here. Does not appear that way, no. I'm pretty much buying magic beans from this person that I don't even know will be able to do anything, but hey.
really clean house once I get my axe upgraded. I upgrade it once and I can get those big stumps. Upgrade again and I can get the logs on their side. Yeah, no point in trying to salvage those, unfortunately. Starfruit, I know for a, sure, will absolutely earn me a ton of cash. and think positively. You ever take a day off? I guess I'm gonna have to take the first day off since I don't really have much I can do. Well, I guess that's comparatively. I mean, I'm not really taking the day off because I'm going to be going to the mines or something to make money. Hey, stop that yuck! Hey. Yeah, if someone catches you, that's really bad. Luckily, reputation cannot go negative with anyone. Linus is the only one who doesn't mind, and that's for obvious reason. Use 300 pieces of wood to fix the bridge. Here we go. There we go. 5 p.m. Did that make time pass? Strange, usually when I get over here, there's immediately something to salvage. Ooh. Anchor. That's an artifact. I'll have to deliver it later. I don't have... It's. I'm pretty sure the museum's already closed at this time of night. This time of day, I mean. Perfect. Here. Herring. A diamond, wow. That's actually really good. is not needed for the community center. However, I do need to give it to Gunther, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I hate when they go directly to the bottom like that. It's rarely frustrating to get them back. There we go. Halibut. Just here for the halibut.
Well, good. I was hoping I'd immediately be able to forage some things here, but I guess not. back and see if I can forage anything on the way. Strange, usually there's coral and stuff that washed up over here. Guess not. Although I guess I could run a quick scan of the beach here. So in case there's something I can forage. Easter's not too bad. Better than nothing to be sure. At the very least, it now no longer feels like I'm struggling to do everything I want to do when the day before my energy runs out. I mean, for some like mining, I still need to... Mining in the... going down the mines... That is mining. <laughs> for some things, still feel like it's like I'm getting my way there, but... Getting to the bottom of the mine is a uh, long, long journey. It's not something you're supposed to do anywhere near when you first begin. Technically, I think it's completely optional in the general sense, although I guess... To be fair, majority of the game is technically optional. There were some funny differences between more funny differences between uh Rosemond 64 and Friends of Middletown is uh let's see here. Let's see here. His name I lost it right away. I forgot his name. Harris, that's his name. Yeah, he's a mailman in Harvestman 64, and I remember him specifically because he's the main love rival for Maria, the one I usually go for in that game. However, my however, it seems he's a an op police officer in Friends of Mineral Town. Although I don't know if he uh, let's check actually. Does he exist in... Uh... Yeah, Harris Friends of Middletown's an officer. Police officer, but in Harvestman 64, he's a, uh... Looks like love rivals don't exist in Friends of Mineral Town. I guess that makes sense. They also don't exist in this game, and I think that's for the best. Harvest Moon 64 and Rune Factory games where they do have love rivals, it feels they usually have a full, uh, oh dang, that guy spawned almost right on top of me. They usually have a full story arc, and so can, for many people it can feel awkward that these characters have a full storyline regarding how they hook up, but I should probably save these. Full arc, and then your character just comes in the middle and takes over. <laughs> Probably why this game doesn't have, so it doesn't feel like you're getting in the way of others. Should save that. It's a gemstone. That in there, and we'll go to bed for the night. Go to sleep for the night. Farming. Here we go. Probably shouldn't have sold the bait, but then again, I don't really have a use for it yet. But hey, 2k right before the end. Sadly, I'm going to have to spend most of it on the new crops. For the report. Welcome to Cozy 5. 
It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Fortune teller. Oh, I see a glimmer with my scrying or a shower of knowledge in the future. The spirits are very happy. They'll do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now, listen up. Summer's here, along with a whole slew of new crops. Take hops, for example. The vines take a while to grow, but once they're mature, they can be harvested every single day. Good luck. Fortunately, since I can't to water anything, it's not going to do much for me. Did a rock just grow in my farm? I think I like the summer and the winter songs best for this game. Not to say that spring and fall don't have some good ones, just these are the uh, most memorable for me personally. And now summer forages are here. Although, uh, I guess I don't have to worry about those too much. Sweet peas. The library has been expanded. Yeah, each season has at least four uh, forageables, and those are all needed for the uh, community center. Seeds, melon seeds, plant these in summer. Top starter corn seeds, these go in summer or fall. I want to get a decent amount of those. That cost me all my money, but it's definitely going to be worth it. I especially want to make sure the corn's good since those last two seasons, but it's not. I need to make a bit of everything if I want to complete the community center. Jazz's birthday. Let's go to the. Uh... Yeah, first, let's head on over. To the museum and drop these two items off so I can clean up my inventory a bit. Diamonds are one of the more rare materials in the game. It sells for a decent amount as well, although I guess it's not a big deal in this case. Donate to museum. Oh, I put it away already. Oh well. Ew. 
Ooh. It's good luck. I really should use this as another mine day. Alright, since I can't do much else anyways, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll just toss these all in my storage. Main reason I want to get them now is because I don't want to accidentally miss the day that, uh, that it's open. It's, the, the, it is open. The day that the, uh, shop's open because I've put it off before and then found out, oh, right, this is the day, it's Wednesday, it's not open. I think I'll do one more day after this. I want to make sure I get the watering can back because the last thing I want to... It's been a while since the last time I streamed this and if I have to do another gap like that, I don't want to accidentally um, forget that I needed to pick up my... Ooh, excellent. Great. Hopefully that's another forageable that's needed. But yeah, I don't want to forget that I need to pick up my watering can. Abigail loves those, so I'm definitely going to have to give her those. Ord swing. It froze for a minute. And it's a fast weapon, so it's not just that the weapon has a large cooldown before I can swing it again. Weird. ranged weapons in this. Okay, 
Okay, this is important because this is where I finally, finally get iron ore. I need to get these. I absolutely need to get as much iron ore as I can. back. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to abandon all of it here. But the good news is the fact we simply have it open is a very, very big upgrade. This now means we can officially finally start farming iron ore on the regular basis, which by extension means we can finally begin make crafting all those items that demand iron bars. I can still make copper for other items, of course, and if there was a lot of characters like Marnie, like Haru, who like those uh, forge bars. I think it, if you speak with her enough times, she even mentions she uses those for her experiments. Would appreciate any we can uh, offer. actually takes a l good while to forge. I actually think it's already closed, so let's put this away here. Yeah, there's no room. Where's the trash in there? Got a decent amount of spare time, so... Oh my. I didn't realize I showed up already. Let's go foraging in the mountain area. I think this is the mountain anyway. Probably shouldn't have eaten that grape, but I really, really, really wanted to. Ooh, that's a big owl. Yeah, but I really wanted to get as many iron ores as I could. The more I can make those, the better. But I guess I'll be getting more soon enough. and swing the sword to cut the grass Zelda styles and cost the energy. No reason not to. I shouldn't have eaten that grape, darn it. Oh well. It's not like I'll, it's not like I won't get other chances to complete the uh, bundle anyways.
or in here. Nothing forageable in here, it seems. Guess I'll just have to head back. Explosion. At least this will get my good combat experience up. So I should be able to deal some more damage and not be quite so, uh... Oh, nice. This way. That should be done by morning. Gold bars take basically an entire day, so I can't really, uh... Oh good, he's stuck in the corner. There we go. Alright, now let's go to sleep. And I'll go ahead and pick up my uh, watering can in the next day. There we go. Not very much profit, but I can start to actually farming once I get my yeah, seeds back. Once I get my yeah, copper watering can is ready. Weather report. It's gonna be a sunny day. Hello. Spirits are annoyed. Luck will not be on your side. I guess that's as good a sign as any that I want to uh, focus today entirely on my farming, but Let's also grab the stones in here to give to Gunther. And Abigail's gonna like the Amethyst as well. If I can run into her, that is- eh, it's pretty easy to run into her, actually. Yeah, copper bars are made almost instantly. Iron takes- actually requires waiting a decent amount of time. And gold bars, you might as well let it go overnight because it takes practically a whole day. My experience in Drop rates for the trash cans are so low, I don't know why I bother. Alright, while I wait for the... While I wait for the, uh, forge to open, blacksmith shop to open, I'll just go ahead and fish a bit. I already have the upgrade that causes fish to sell for more, so this is definitely going to be, uh, worth my time. I should probably upgrade my... Uh, Rod pretty soon too, but I really need to focus on getting enough money for the bag upgrade. I spent basically all my money on seeds, but it's going to pay for itself very quickly. Ooh, rainbow trout. That's a really nice one. I believe it opens at 9, so I've got a bit of time. Perfect. More fishing experience for me. And more rainbow trouts as well. Oh yeah, I need to check if rainbow trout's another one needed for the, uh... I don't think the community center needs it, but it's worth having all the same, of course. So it should be able to go in here. Yep. Copper watering can. You received a copper watering can. Excellent. I should probably have him upgrade my other stuff as well.
collect rewards. Melons. Ooh, now that's nice. Three melon seeds are pretty huge, actually. I'm tutoring Vincent and Joss today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. Yeah. Huh. Basically, melons are one of the things I make in spring, and it's absolutely one of Penny's favorites. It usually skyrockets her friendship to max or near max. <laughs> really quick. Should I wear something special to the aerobics, aerobics meetup today? Oh, there's Abigail. Here's your amethyst. I seriously love this. You're the best. The air's so thick with honey and nectar all summer. I almost feel dizzy. I'm gonna grab some more copper and leave them off of the blacksmith again, just because I really need to start getting upgrades. Oh no, I can't afford it. They're all 2,000, remember? Bro. Silly me. Alright, I'll have to get to them later. I don't know why I'm going nine, three by three, like in Harvest Moon and the uh, Story of Seasons. Bluntly, it doesn't matter in this game. You can't, you actually, uh, I guess I should chop this down. Yeah, you actually can't, uh, crap. Yeah, the reason you, you made it in those is because you can't walk through your crops, and so you had to make sure nothing overlapped anything else, but in this game, that is not an issue. Unless it grows on a trail like uh, the hops here, you have absolutely zero issues. Kitty! Jump. Oh, that was so cute. It jumped for... Uh, I don't know if it jumped for a reason, but it was adorable. Melons are one of the crops that can be fused into a much bigger one, but I'm not sure if it's actually going to make it much of a difference.
starting to feel exhausted. It's not needed, so I'll just put this one in storage here. Eat the field snack, please. Starfruits sell extremely well, so it should be good. enough for now, I guess. Alright. Gonna go around. Luckily, the community center is open 24 hours. I just need to find a grape, and I think I'm mostly done, but the problem is I'm pretty sure that's one of the more rare forageables. Although I guess that doesn't mean I can't find. I mean, the horseradish was the rarest of the forageables in spring, and I still found plenty of those before the end. Uh, do you like these? It's a great gift. Thank you. Bastion? I don't know what he likes. Darn. Copper ore. Not especially amazing. I should replace these here since I don't use the... Any yeah, buildings, just ask me. I'm afraid I need a lot more wood before I can do that. I need a lot of wood and stone to make the chicken coop and barn. I need those if I want... Oh yeah, I should drop these off. I need those if I want any kind of uh livestock. Summer. Yeah, if I hadn't I'd have that complete if I didn't get rid of that grape like an idiot, darn it. Well, like I said, I'll have plenty of opportunities. Summer just started, and there's a lot more I can do. Oh dang, I forgot last day of spring does have an event you can see, but I missed it. Right, there's nothing in here today. Nothing good this time. Oh. So as far as I can tell, enemies can spawn on my farm anytime after 7. Sweet peas, I don't know too many who like those. I don't want to go up there yet. those wondering about the owl thing, there are random events that can make stuff happen to your farm. During my first playthrough, I had some kind of fairy thing bless my plants, for example, but they don't always happen. And in fact, it's not guaranteed to happen even on a given playthrough, so that's why I'm fine spoiling with that one, because I don't think I'm going to be getting on this one. I did not get the owl when I let played on my other five when I first streamed this game, for example. It's quite unfortunate. Absolutely nothing.
I really, really want to upgrade my tools, but I absolutely need to get my, uh, that, up, that inventory upgrade before I can do anything further. I just don't have a choice on the matter. It's just too limiting without it. Freshwater fish that's difficult to catch. I should probably put the pike away as well, since I only have one. Like I said, you basically want one of everything when possible. I should probably get more field snacks going, but I can worry about that for next time. Oh, what the? Well, that's so we're gonna have to end that on that little cliffhanger, I'd say. Twenty-one, not bad. And not much profit's gonna come in until our crops become begin coming in, but I'm fine waiting for those. We're. D there was an earthquake during the night. Well, we're going to have to find out the fallout of that particular event next time. Till then, thank you for watching. Hope you had a good time, and I'll see you later.